Hi, my name is Adele Sipeston, and in this video today, I'm going to show you a really easy way to find your art style. And please watch through the very end because I have a special surprise. Let's get started with how to find your art style. And I'm going to show it to you by, I'm going through um, several books that I have of artists who, whose work I love and really influences me. And I'm going to go through the things through each, each one of their, um, their styles and pick out what it is that just jumps out at me. I'm not thinking about what I like about it yet, but just, I love that. So let's get started. The first one that I love is Gary Comarin or Comarin. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name, Gary, but anyway, he's, um, I love his work. I've studied him and looked at him and he inspires me. And one of the things that jumps out, this is one of the first pages of his that I actually just gravitated toward that I love. And when I look more closely, one of the things that I love about it, a couple of things, I love the drawing over here. I love how he goes out on the edges. I love that there's this big space here and yet this big space here is filled with very subtle brush strokes and marks. So I love that. And I'm going to put down uh, brush strokes because I'm going to keep a list here of the things that just strike me that I'm drawn to. And let me show you another one of his that I love and his style. Again, there's such subtlety and beauty that we have here. So I'm going to put subtlety. I love how he has, he, I love how he goes to the edges. Um, and yet all in here, the subtlety of the colors from the pinks and the beiges, just exquisite in combination with the strong colors. So this is Gary's, Gary Komarin. Now the next artist that I'm drawn to that I'm going to, you know, be inspired by is Heather Day. And she's a living artist out of California, San Francisco. And one of the things I love about Heather's is that she has beautiful lines in every one of her works. And there's, oh, I'm going to put line work. See, so whenever you realize, I love the line work. And she has big thick ones and thin ones, so there's a variety. What I love about hers is she uses different mediums. She uses different mediums. She uses um, thin lines. She uses paint. She uses oil pastels. She uses... Um, spray paint and so she gets such a variety so i'm going to put just variety here and the line work is just gorgeous and there's one more here oh this one just want to show you yes is there's a simplicity to her composition but it's very sophisticated it's simple but sophisticated those are things that i love simple and sophisticated so let me show you the third person that really inspires me bryce marden his line work Look at this line work. Shapes, these go off the page. So um, big shapes, it's really shapes that just draws me. And the black and white, I love black and white. So look how these, they're just sensitive and they fl f you know, are organic and um, free flow. So these are all things that I really love. Here's another one, just another sample. So if I were getting stuck in another painting and wanted to know, gosh, where do I look to get, um, you know, shapes ideas, this is who I'd look to. And if, if, again, everybody, when you go through all these artists or your own artists, you are going to come up with a totally different group of people, different artists, different things that attract you, but look at them, see what you like, what's the first thing that you think of and jot them down because that is consistent with everything that you're going to like, no matter what artist it is. Now, the next artist I'm going to show you is my absolute favorite my whole life. This is Cy Twombly. What I love about Cy Twombly is his energy, energy and childlike. Look at the lines. They're very childlike and playful, but very sophisticated and his colors. So the other thing I love about his is that um, he shows he's got some structure, but he also has some writing. The writing in his work is what I love. One of the, my favorite things that he does. Some of the writing in each one of his. And look at the energy of this line. It goes off the page. You just feel like you can just go out and run a mile. But that, again, is what I like with his work. So the last person I'm going to show you is a New Orleans artist. 
and her name is Ida Kohlmeyer, and um, I grew up knowing her name and her work, and she's very popular, and her, her work is just gorgeous. And what I'm drawn to about Ida Kohlmeyer's work is a combination of things. She has the structure of different squares, but the squares are um, not so tight and um, with too much edge, and they're a variety. So I'm going to say structured. That's one of the things I love about her work. And this one is structured but loose. So you could have structured but loose. So after going through all these, I just want to show you by just looking at these artists, these are the words that I put down that I have I've been able to identify are, are qualities that I love in an artist's in, in work. So if I hadn't done any art whatsoever, these are the things that I would look for that I want to bring out and have my style. It's going to be all these things. So thanks for joining me and stay till the end because I have something very special for you. Thanks for staying to the end and I have a wonderful PDF right below. You can click and get the download for a form to fill out and once you fill it out it's going to help guide you to find your own art style. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.